Preeti Nag has this question. Recently I read a book upon noetic science that studies the ability of the human mind and some of the processes were described to be similar to meditation. In fact, I also remember you talking about the ability of the human mind in your shivir in Mumbai. I think I do understand the concept clearly. However, a question that bothers me is if we are gifted with such wonderful brains that can perform great things, why don't we have the full control of it? If meditation increases the percentage of the brain that we use, by what rate does this happen? Uh, a Preeti, regarding the noetic science, or unnoetic science, there are so many people in Western world who are trying to encash upon the things which our rishis, our yogis had addressed long, long years ago, and they just try to repackage all those things in one way or the another way, and try to sell their this new theory. So now you have a quantum theory, and now you have some another theory, and. Um, these are all just gimmicks in which they are just trying to encash upon more and more money. This is true that we are born with great capacities and, and we have yet not understood in depth what it means. And just meditation alone will not enhance your capabilities. You need many things much more than that. And if you say, in what rate it does happen, well, you seem to be a pretty mathematical person who wishes to know about in what percentage would it happen. Well, there can't be an, um, a mathematical answer for this. But one thing is for sure that we do have certain uh, unused, untapped resources in our brain, in our consciousness, which may be for some people if they follow the right way to uh, practice the things, they may enhance their capabilities of memory, of creativity, and many, many things like that.